And there you guys have it, a double Windsor knot in under one minute. And I'm just gonna go ahead and throw this tie clip in to make it look a little bit flashier. Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? This is How To Dude, and today I'm gonna show you how to do a Windsor and a double Windsor knot at home in under two minutes. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with my blue tie here. I'm gonna be showing you how to do the Windsor knot have a couple of wrinkles on there, don't worry about it. All right, so we're gonna first take the longer side, the fatter side, and bring it in front of the shorter side. All right, we're gonna go ahead and now throw it towards the back and then rest it on top of our other hand. Then what we wanna do is we wanna bring it back out along the front and we can go ahead and just fix that pinching motion that we're doing. We're then gonna bring it up through the back and then pull it up front. You can adjust it right here if you need to adjust it. And what we're gonna do is we actually created a little opening right here as I'm sticking my finger in. You're gonna go ahead and take the tie and you're gonna shimmy it right down through that opening in the front. All right, now what I'm doing is just adjusting it a little bit. So once you have it like that, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna pull that bottom string and you're gonna press the top and pull it upwards towards your neckline. Once you have it as far as it can go, you're gonna go ahead and grab your collar and pull it down. Now I'm using a wide collar for this. I should have been using uh, a slimmer one, but this is what I was using. So once you have that, you're gonna notice on the back, there's actually a holder for the shorter skinny side. You're gonna go ahead and place that right in there. And then if you need to make any more adjustments, you could do that. I have a chrome tie clip right here, one to make it fancy and two to hold your tie in place. And just like that, you have a Windsor knot. All right, let's get right into the double Windsor. So what we're gonna do first is we're actually gonna take that fat side and shimmy it down. You actually want the skinny side as far up as you could possibly do it. Then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing that we did in the first one. You're gonna pull it across, hold the pinch, and then wrap it over the hand. Next, you're gonna go ahead and adjust your finger because what you wanna do is instead of throwing it across, you actually wanna put it up top in the middle area. You're gonna go ahead and put it up top and you're gonna pull it down so it's nice and tight. Once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and move it to the other side and repeat the same step. So pull it over and then right through the middle again on the other side. This is gonna go ahead and make a little bit of a triangle shape for you. It's not gonna look the prettiest, but it'll be there. All right, so once you have it like that, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna grab it and bring it straight across the front. Now you're gonna go ahead and hold it into place while you do that. And then what we wanna do is we wanna bring it up through the middle from underneath. Next thing we're gonna do, like we did with the Windsor knot, is you're gonna see a little opening that you made. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen it up with my finger just a bit right here. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna pull the tie right down through there. Now, once you have it like that, you can go ahead and adjust your hand placement and then start to tighten it up towards your neckline. Once it is up as high as it can go, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna grab that collar and you're gonna pull it down to make sure it fits nice and snug. All right, now you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take that skinny backside one and you're gonna stick it right through that little loop just to make sure it holds itself in place. Now I'm just adjusting the tie a little bit. I see a little crease up there. That's no problem at all. Last thing you wanna do is just go ahead and throw that fancy tie clip on to hold it in place. And there you have it. That is a double Windsor knot. This has been How To Dude. We'll see you in the next one.